Hello, Gillespie again. Hey, uh, another harp tip coming at you. Um, usually there's, uh, played harmonica for a while, there's a debate on uh, which method to use. There's the uh, uh, the lip pursing method or uh, where you just uh, make a small hole with your mouth and, and blow that way or the uh, tongue blocking method where you use your tongue to go off to uh, one side of the harmonica and then your cheek uh, covers the other side so you uncover a hole or two holes, whatever you want. So there's, uh, you know, there's sometimes there's a debate about which method is, is best. And uh, there's a guy named uh, uh, Dan Gage, a uh, pretty good harmonica player, and I think he posts up on uh, YouTube. And uh, he has a, a, a video blog on, on the same subject. I just wanted to add into it, and I agree with what he's saying. Both methods uh, play their part in, in becoming a, a more rounded harmonica player and uh, so the more tools you have to be able to use in your playing uh, the better and uh, there's certain advantages to uh, tongue block and certain advantages to uh, lip pursing uh, however you want to call that um, methods and uh, probably the easiest to learn would be just the uh, the pursing method where you just pretty much put it in and you try to get your mouth centered just around one hole at first and uh, like I said in one a tip two uh, that you just stay relaxed but uh, you'll find out that it's fairly easy to, to play one hole but the advantage of playing um, with that method is that you have your tongue that's freed up inside your mouth to be able to uh, form different sounds do different things stuff like that. You can't do that if your tongue is stuck on the harmonica. Uh, you would find it very hard to go t -t 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 like that. So uh, when you want to do effects like see you couldn't do that with the, the tongue on. Uh, now the tongue blocking method uh, one thing that has been brought up is when you do tongue slaps and all that stuff where you go from uh, playing a couple holes You get a bigger sound and if you're amplified especially that's really magnified and you get a nice sound it goes full and then to that single note that's one thing and then if you just wanted to play um, like some of the old timey songs you know just kind of in, in straight what they call straight harp uh, it's it's good and say you find yourself at a Polish wedding okay and uh, the band didn't show up but you have your harmonica in your pocket and using uh, a tongue uh, with uh, with your tongue taking it off and giving yourself a backbeat, you could play uh, maybe a chadish or some kind of uh, wedding dance. And you could be the hero of the wedding if you learn how to do that. So and so in some harmonica uh, tunes and stuff like that, it's good to be able to play like that. And uh, but like I said, for playing blues and other uh, bluegrass and uh, stuff like that, it's good to know both. And uh, uh, for instance, and then it's good to maybe be able to switch, like something. That was, <clears throat> excuse me, that was uh, actually switching back and forth uh, between uh, tongue block and, and the lip pursing method. So they all have their place. And I would say uh, learn them both. Uh, you want to get into playing real quick, do the lip pursing method, learn how to play uh, along with that. It's easier to bend notes too, playing the lip pursing method too, I think. Sorry, especially on the higher, higher uh, up on the higher holes, blow, uh, on your blow bends. And, uh, but then also uh, take time to practice maybe a couple, you know, 10 minutes a day until you start getting it better, the uh, tongue block method. And most books that you can get uh, show you how to play the tongue block method.
So anyhow, that's uh, Muleski's uh, input on the uh, on the uh, tongue block versus uh, uh, lip pursing method. And uh, so happy harping to you. Keep harping.